Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, basically what I'm going to be doing is making a nice high chair, a matching table for it so you can work on it with your laptop and do with it as you want. Um, it was custom made according to how the guy wanted, so that's why I made it the way it is. Um, as well as making something pretty cool, which was a poker chip like box looks like a toaster in the video you'll see i even said so which is hilarious but it's cool because it holds all the poker chips that we use when we play poker here at the villa which is awesome and yeah guys so i also wanted to clarify with you guys and just let you know that in the beginning of the video it might seem a bit boring because i didn't explain and apologies for that i actually made this video before the video i previously posted last week so that's why there wasn't much explaining in the beginning but what i did do is that you will see there goes a fly passing by damn these flies <laughs> um shouldn't have left the window open but anyway what i'm trying to say is that <laughs> so <laughs> basically i did start explaining um how it is that I made the rest of the stuff in the video um, regarding the, the, the matching table and the poker chip box. I did go into more detail when I was creating those um, just so that it, you guys get to understand more and you could even try it at home. So enjoy the video guys and just make sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment always. You guys are the greatest and peace. so the wind is a bit windy but this is a hard chair yeah pretty stoked with it this is the first of the three this i'm just sending through just so they can confirm it before i make the rest yeah peace guys check you tomorrow for some oh, exciting stuff Hey guys, so um, I got to finishing, oh man the sun is not my friend, so I finished up with um, putting in the wood filler as you see which is pretty dope, now I'm going to jump on to doing the poker box for the chips, yeah let's check that out, so this is a two in one vid pretty much.
Guys, so load shedding just hit, so I ain't gonna be able to make anything else. That sucks. I'll try to finish off varnishing that once it's dried. Yeah. So I've finished up with the poker box for the chips. Looks dope. Kind of looks like a toaster, funny enough. <laughs> but yeah, let's get on to now sanding that down. Um, yes, that over there and varnishing it. Cool. Check you guys soon. Uh, I did run out so I used them the place is most important so now it's time to varnish piece. Today I need to make the matching table, but before I do that, I need to move this table across over to here because I've been slipping here a lot. So let's check that out. Not much detail gone into it. Pretty much should probably add some pieces here at the bottom so that the height is the same as the ground over here. And yeah, let's get on to it, guys. Peace. What I did is just add some bricks at the bottom and now it's on the other side and flat and level so now let's get down to making the matching table or this hard chair yep this one over here so plan change I ain't gonna be making three of these I'm just making a matching table he decided that's what he wants so let's get on to it peace
Hey guys, so I'm done with the table, putting it, all the stuff that I need to put back under the table. So now I can get started with that table for the nice high chair I showed you a little earlier. So in the meantime, let me get the stuff I want to put together and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Cool. Hey guys, so I'm back now. This is what I've chosen to do and the style I've chosen for the legs of the table. I think it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, what I'm gonna do is, it doesn't make sense now, but when I've actually put it together, you'll see. What I'll end up doing is I'll start with the bottom piece pretty much, and I'll put it as far forward as I can over here. Um, and then I'll cut the straight here, cut the straight there. Um, then what I'll start with is obviously drilling in the holes first, then cutting, then starting with the second piece, doing the same thing over and over and over with those. And then I'm gonna flip it over. And then I'm gonna add two pieces at the top here, just flat ones that I can drill the you know the top the tabletop from the bottom so there's no holes at the top that's what i want to try and achieve today so let's try and get that done Ooh. added this piece here so that now I can add the triangle shapes so yeah let's check that out Hey guys, so I finished up with the first leg. I think it looks really, really cool, guys. Um, so basically, as you saw, what I did is I put the plank across, I drilled it in, cut it, and yeah, pretty much that's the method I used for the whole thing. Um, not too complicated, pretty simple. I'm really, really looking at this through the camera, and wow, it looks absolutely so sick. <laughs> I want one myself for year. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start now doing the second one. It's already partly assembled. I just need to do the same thing I did there. And then after that, we'll start with the tabletop and then start sanding. I'll go through the steps when I make the tabletop. It's not too complicated, pretty simple. You'll see it as it comes. Awesome. So I've finished both side legs or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, these are pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to think I'm going to start with sanding these. Then I'll start with the tabletop. Hey guys, so I've done the basic sanding for the legs pretty much and now I'm pretty much going to be cutting this in half, that's one, and cutting another one in half so that will make the length of three. Right, I'll cut those in half and then I'll attach them on the top here. So I'll start with the one going across to the other one here and then I'll clamp it together. I'll show you the process I'm um, also trying to do before and after here. So just an update, I added a piece of wood in here, yeah, I drilled it in. Now I'm adding the tabletop, but I'm drilling it from the bottom as I initially attempted to have, that's what I wanted. 
and now I'm just going to take this and add it on there in the same format as to what I've screwed in. Then I'm going to start with the putting it together. Yep. What I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to put a clamp on the top there, clamp it together and I didn't think of that but I actually have to drill it from the bottom again and that was a mistake but I'll figure that out, let me just try something out <laughs> I think I'm going to clamp it from where I want to clamp it and then try and turn it over at the same time I might think I'm going to need to use screws from the top support for the back of the table yeah so that at least keeps it you know structurally more stronger than it should be you know between these two points so it doesn't spread and so forth and I'm only doing one from the back because you're going to want to slide in through the you know where your legs chill and whatnot so I'm gonna quickly sand this down or I'm quickly gonna cut this drill it on cut it sand it and then this table is done then afterwards I'm going to continue with the finishing of the sanding and hopefully I can try and varnish today, we'll see. Thanks guys, um, I'm going to attempt to varnish that later on the week when I get the varnish. Right now I don't have it, I don't have wood filler, so therefore I'm not going to try to complete it today at all. Hey guys, so what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be varnishing this. But before that, I'm going to be doing like a special design on here that I can quickly show you. This. It gives it like a burn effect, it doesn't take too long. Okay. 
pretty much. This is, yeah, this is what it's like. Pretty much cars. So, you all can see it fully done in the farm laps. Seriously, seriously cool guys. Um, unfortunately, the table is already gone. I mean, the matching bench, sitting bench, stool, or hard chair, yeah, it's no longer here. So, yeah, guys, this is the finished product. Thanks, guys. Peace.